Hi dear friends, welcome to Las Cosas del Inglés, your channel where never be alone because your teacher is here to help you. Hi everybody, hi dear students. Today this class is especially for students who are studying nursing, but it's for everybody, right? But especially for students who are studying nursing. All right, we're going to talk here, for example, about how to admit patients, right? That's why I write, I wrote admitting patients in hospitals, in clinics, right? Some of the actions that you do normally is the patient observations, right? What are the patient observations? Well, we have the temperature, pulse, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, blood pressure, and weight. This is right. Yeah, obviously temperature, you check your temperature, right? We have the pulse, you normally check the pulse here or here, right? It's great. Respiratory rate, yeah. We yeah, the so respiratory rate, the oxygen saturation, yeah, it's very common. And the uh, blood pressure and weight. Weight. I think you don't have problems with temperature, pulse, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, blood pressure, pression arterial. Right? It's good. Weight. Peso. Weight. Yeah, I probably the not very common. This I think it's not problems. Similar to Spanish. All right. Well, uh, to do uh, the patient observations, we need some devices, right? For example, for taking temperature, uh, you need a thermometer, right? You need a thermometer, or you can use a tympanic thermometer, tympanic thermometer. We have the pulse oximeter, pulse oximeter, blood pressure cuff, blood pressure cuff, digital blood pressure monitor, digital blood pressure monitor, scales, scales, blood glucose meter, the blood glucose meter, otoscope, otoscope, and stethoscope, stethoscope, yeah, it's, uh, there are common devices that you need, yeah, to do your patient observations. But well, let's check some, some of these devices. I was looking for them, <laughs> right? Let me, let me show you here. For example, here I have a thermometer, right? They are not very expensive. They are cheap. You can buy and have one at home, yeah? In case you have fevered, yeah, you can take your temperature at home. Yeah, uh, let me check another one. I got here a tympanic thermometer. Let me show you. This is tympanic, tympanic thermometers. Why? Because it goes into your ears and you take your temperature, yeah, here in your ears. Mm -hmm. Tympanic thermometer. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's good to having one once at home or you that are studying nursing, it's going to be pretty useful. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we have here? Pulse oximeter. Let me check for the pulse oximeter. Uh, I have the pulse oximeter here, right? Uh, only you have to click your finger press the button and you can uh, measure your um, pulse, all right? Your oxygen saturations, yeah? It's great, as you can see, it's pretty easy. Uh, and I think now everybody has one at home, all right? Because it's very common, yes, to take your temperature, to check your oxygen saturations, yeah? So have it once at home, I think it's pretty important, pretty necessary. And let me check what else uh, we have here. We have the blood pressure cuff, blood pressure cuff. Okay. 
let me show you this is the blood pressure cuff yes the blood pressure cuff yeah you know every time we go to the clinic or we go to a hospital nurse uh, use them yeah to check our blood pressure yes to check our blood pressure yes they have here like the pump no and a, a little clock here where they're checking yeah the pressure it's great and obviously they need the stethoscope yeah that you know this is very common you look at the doctors most of the time carrying the stethoscope but the nurse use frequently to check the blood pressure yes so this is the blood pressure cuff remember blood pressure cuff okay let me put this here and later we have here the digital blood pressure monitor digital blood pressure monitor ah, yes i have here ones yeah now you have these ones it's digital uh, similar to the previous one but here well uh, i think uh, now many people have one at home all right yes and it's very good it's not too difficult and you can check your blood pressure with a digital blood pressure monitor yeah so it's going to be a good idea to have one at home okay let me put it in its place let me put it here in its place and let's have scales i was checking everything i was asking for many things uh okay great Fortunately, my wife helps me because <laughs> she's a nurse. <laughs> all right, uh, here are scales, all right? Uh, scales, scales, right? So with the scales, yeah, you can obviously measure your weight, your kilograms, all right? 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, I don't know, yeah? We have the scales. Mm -hmm. We have scales here. And what else we have? Ah the blood glucose meter mm -hmm. blood glucose meter yes i think it's this one yes yeah you got it here so we have the blood glucose meter we have it here we have the lancing device we have the test containers and the lancet you know the lancet yes right i know i think it's very common for people having ones uh, at home yeah to share their glucose mm -hmm. that that's very important even for us right to be checking <laughs> yeah if we have good glucose or not okay so we have this one uh -huh. and later we have the otoscope our scope is very common to check your ears, yeah, into your ears, uh, especially when you have paint, yeah. Uh, it's, oh my goodness, something happens to my ears, so it's important go to the doctor and the doctors check if you don't have an infections, yeah. If you have an infection, sorry. Let me check here. Here I have the otoscope, yes, it's this one. You get it? And it has the, even light. Yeah, I think it has some light. Yeah, when you check the light, and they check into your ears. Yeah, uh, okay, they can detect if you have an infection or a problem in your ears, and they can help you. Yeah, so uh, it's incredible. Yeah, having this technology uh, really helps. Help. Yeah, helps a lot. Okay. Okay, let me put it in its place. Wonderful. So, I show you all the devices that you use as a nurse, yeah? Or as a doctor. Yeah, they're very, uh, help you. They, they, they really help you a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and even I wrote here to, 
a little bit more to vocabulary. I wrote here the word bank. For example, welcoming a patient, welcoming a patient is when you receive the patient, say, hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yeah, you say, hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Omar. I'm going to be your nurse today. Yeah. Or I'm going to be looking after you today. We are starting cargado de usted el día de hoy. Right? So that is important, yeah? For a welcome to a patient. Mm -hmm. Or welcoming to patients. The word, the word is the nurse. Well, is the area. Is the area where the nurse is in church to check their patients. All right? Uh, sorry, to check well, his or her patients. All right? Uh, uh, in Mexico, we say like el piso or la sala. Yes, where you're carrying your patients. That is the word, the word. You see, like the, the nurse word, la enfermera de piso, say like that, the nurse word, or the word el piso o la sala, right? It's good. Yeah, it, it's different name. You can write in the commentaries, all right? You can tell me, yeah? We have the here the nurse call. The nurse call, uh, for example, when the patients are uh, in bed, yeah? Uh, they have here the oxygen. And he probably has a button. Tienen un botón. Yeah, you press the button. That is the nurse call. In case of an emergency or you need help, yeah, you press the button and the nurse uh, comes to help you. Yeah, presionas eh, ese botón de que llama la enfermera. So she or he comes to help you. Yeah, el, el o ella vienen a ayudarnos, right? It's great. And also we have the identity bracelet. The identity bracelet is when they put it here on your hands. Yeah. This bracelet, bro, you have your, your name, your security number, or why probably you are, uh, for example, in hospital. What is the reason? Right. I don't know. I, I have listened that they have colors depends of the emergency. They have colors, but you please write in the comments. Yes, teacher, there are different colors. This color is for the, 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 this, and that color is for that. And that is going to help us. All right. To understand a little more. Remember that I'm not a nurse. I'm trying to help you. Uh, even I'm trying to learn more and more. Yeah. Uh, about nursing and English and everything. So I'm doing everything is possible to help you. And. Pajamas, you know, when we go to hospitals where, and we are going to stay yeah, in hospital, we have to remove our clothes and put uh, special pajamas yes, to stay in hospital. So we have this vocabulary, right? Let's practice uh, vocabulary one more time. Yes. Okay. Listen and repeat at home. All right. Temperature, pulse. Respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, blood pressure, weight, thermometer, tympanic thermometer, pulse oximeter, blood pressure cuff, digital blood pressure monitor, scales, blood glucose meter, Autoscope, stethoscope, yeah? You practice, please, at home. You practice, right? And remember, I showed you all of the devices. You can check the video many times, so you remember the, the meaning of them. Okay, the welcoming a patient, the word, nurse call, identity bracelet, and pajamas, right? Well, I hope uh, it helped. It helps you a lot. Please, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and invite friends. And I'm gonna be happy to see you next time. <laughs>